Literally no one asked me to vlog, so I decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of March, so get ready to be bored, cause this is Vlarch. Good morning. I am making quick coffee. This is much easier with a stand mixer. How I did it yesterday was in my actual mixer. This is very painful on my arm. Um, but it's so delicious. I just had some, Ford just had some. Now Eric wants some in his coffee, but Eric wants it warm. I like mine iced. This takes up a really long time. I'll see you in a minute. I know, amazing. We went to a local farm today, well we, Eric did, and got a bunch of delicious things. So that's exciting. Don't worry, he was very safe and used protective gear. And we're very excited because we got this, <laughs> this strawberry that looks like pants and I want to write haters back off on the butt. We have, <laughs> have to do that tonight. Which is the butt and which is the front? You never know with Miranda pants. Um, anyway, I'm obsessed with this whipped coffee. I can't stop drinking it, it's so good. So we're almost out of like the espresso grounds or whatever, so I'm gonna have to buy more, but I need more. We're gonna go on a family walk and I'm gonna bring my little espresso coffee drink. Cool cats and kittens. <laughs> if you know that reference, I love you. If you don't, you must not be very bored at this point that you haven't seen Tiger King yet. Uh, we are cooking dinner. I didn't show you what we cooked tonight, but I'm about to tell you what we cooked. We're having honey mustard chicken, but Eric's barbecuing it, which we've never done before. I'm heating up the honey mustard sauce. We have rice and broccoli and potatoes. And that's what we're having for dinner, y'all. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Look at this delicious dinner. Yum, moussey, it looks so yummy. Yum, 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 moussey, moussey, moussey. Oh man, Eric and I were just looking at and laughing at Tiger King memes. Oh man, that documentary is so freaking wonderful and weird. Um, I'm very tired. I didn't vlog much today, sorry about that guys. I will get back on it tomorrow. Ooh, I look tired. I'm planning on filming a bunch of Miranda stuff tomorrow. I have a lot to film with the series. I'm hoping to do a live stream. I wanna take a shower and go to bed. Ooh, what? Chocolate. Evidence that I just ate cookies. Okay, bye. so long to film these episodes because I get so many different shots. I get like tired and over it. I've only filmed like half of the episode and I'm like, I don't need it anymore. but I gotta. I'll be happy if I've just done it and gotten it out of the way. Clint's taking his nap, so it's a perfect opportunity to just knock it out. So I'm gonna try right now to knock it out. I'm exhausted. I just did all these shots where I had to be like basically upside down and my head had to be like trapped in my own pants. You'll understand when you see it. I get really claustrophobic. So I had to do like one individual shot at a time and do it over and over again because I kept like freaking out because my head was literally stuck inside of a pant leg and I couldn't see anything. I could barely breathe. That was a lot. Whenever I film these episodes, I like write out what I want to happen. What I want to happen last time, I filmed everything I wanted. And this time it was like, just went a totally different direction. I have a feeling this one's gonna be really hard to edit. Cause if I script it out, it's easy to edit cause I know what comes next. It's gonna be really hard and confusing for me to edit it later. But oh well, oh my God, the bags are my eyes, girl. That ain't cute, honey bun, that ain't cute. Gotta get some more sleep up in this house before I just turn into two huge Prada bags. This is not a good look, darling. I also have not eaten today, aside from like a little bit of top ramen crumbles, like dry noodles, you know what I mean? So I need to go eat some real food. See you guys in a little bit, goodbye. We got a package from Grandma, Flynn. You wanna see what's inside? <gasps> what's this? Good, 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 good. Ooh, the happy man in his dump truck. Flynn, look. Ooh, this is soft. Oh my gosh. I've never felt anything so soft in my life. Flynn, look at this. 
Dardars. Should we put this on? No, I think it's for like four year olds. Like mom said it was a really big size, but he'll grow into it. We'll be with some knee highs. Yes. Yeah, there's Dardars on your shirt, huh? What's on your shirt? Oh, Dardars. He's too distracted with his little pop book. He loves this book. I've talked about it before online. It's called Polka Dot Old McDonald's Farm, but each page has these little buttons you can push and they make a snapping sound and he loves it. So if you have a kid, highly recommend this book. He really likes it. Hello, everybody. So accidentally, we accidentally gave Flynn a little bit of a fright tonight. We wanted to have a slumber party in his room. We thought it'd be fun to like have it so we all sleep in the same room. We thought he would get excited and he would like it. And he, I think he would, but we brought a blow up mattress, like an inflatable mattress in his room and started blowing it up. But that caused him to think that it was alive, like a big, scary monster. <laughs> and he screamed and was very terrified. We felt horrible and we were just like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So we nixed that idea because he did not like it. Anyway, I'm making sloppy joes for dinner. Flynn is cuddling Eric. Um, I cuddled him for a while because he was scared. <laughs> he was not happy. Poor little guy. I, mean, I understand like if I was his size and in my bedroom, he, my safe place, my mom and dad brought in like this big scary thing that grew and was loud, I'd be scared too. So he was really scared, but it's okay. Um, I am making sloppy joes and baked beans because it's easy and I don't want to spend two hours making dinner like I usually do. So that's what's on the recipe, it's about the menu. Oh my gosh, I gotta go. I need to put water in this, I need to pay attention. Oh man, we watched a terrifying movie. A terrifying movie um, and it was really gruesome, which is so not like me to watch a gruesome movie, but it's, it's not even like me to watch a movie, period. So I don't remember what it was called. It was some foreign movie. I think it was called like Levels, I don't know it wasn't it, The Platform or I don't know. I don't know, it was on Netflix. It was really scary and now I'm not gonna sleep. But it was a nice social commentary on just the world and politics and um, it was eye-opening and but mostly just really scary. So is my face. You guys, it's March 31st. Flarch is over! Flarch is over! So weird. When I started doing Vlarch, I did not think this month was going to turn out how it turned out. When I first started vlogging every day in March, I just thought it would be something fun to do this month. I thought I have a few shows. I missed vlogging. It makes me feel better. It's like therapy for me. I like hanging out with you guys and talking to you. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try vlogging every day. Maybe it'll make something interesting happen. I did not think that we would be in the middle of a pandemic when I started this. Not even a little. And the fact that I've filmed every single day this month while all this craziness is happening is really nuts and I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for hanging out with me every day and talking to me on social media and watching my stupid videos of me doing nothing but making whipped coffee and weird recipes every day. It's been really really nice to just hang out with you guys. I really feel like you're my friends, you're my family and life feels weird without you when I'm not vlogging every day. A lot of you have asked if I'm going to do vlogging every day in April and um, I'm sorry guys I love you um, but yeah I don't know about that I love you thanks for watching and I will see you next time I love you bye literally no one asked me to vlog so I decided to do it all month long to see me live my life every day girl so you're ready to be bored you're watching flaypril i know that doesn't rhyme but literally nothing rhymes with flaypril so get over it gotcha april fools mama trickle i'm vlogging every day you what how did i even do that with my voice i am vlogging every day of april i'm gonna try we'll see if it happens but I feel like I need it for my own sanity because I don't know how I would have gotten through even this month without vlogging every day. It was so helpful to be able to have you guys. It was like therapy to talk to you and talk through things and show you what I'm going through every day and helps to keep me sane because I'm like sharing my life with you so it makes me not just sit on my butt. I have to like keep working and keep going and doing things and making recipes and whatever because I'm like, oh, I want to show them something. I want to do something for them. I want to, I don't know, live life as opposed to just sit on my butt. So so 
it's because of you guys that like I've been able to survive this crazy quarantine and I really really hope all of you guys are safe and healthy and staying as happy as you can in this terrifying situation. I have some crazy things planned for April. Corey and I are gonna try to raise money for people who need it, and so is Eric too, but Corey and I really wanna do some shows, like live shows, just try to help other people out, because you guys have helped me out so much through all of this, and um, there's a lot of people out there who need way more help than I do, and you guys have helped me just by watching my videos and supporting me and talking to me, and so we wanna give back to you, so that's what the month of April is all about. Yeah, I'm hoping to give back as much as I can. I love you guys. Thanks for supporting me. Please stay home and stay safe and wash your hands and be nice to each other because it's a cruel, scary world out there. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow.